what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out for another episode of Riff Theory, where I take classic little riffs and break down the theory behind them so we can extract the secret sauce and then use it for our own little, you know, creative devices. And so this is the classic one, little thirds, double stops, um, really, really versatile actually. So I hope you guys dig it. If there's other classic riffs you'd like to see me break down. I've done quite a few so far. Let me know in the comments below. And then of course, while you're down there, I've got bonuses for free courses, other killer links, martymusic.com, Marty Music, the YouTube channel, Marty Music, the flamethrower, etc. Thank you. Here we go. All right. This classic little intro uses thirds and it's a really fun technique and uh, I think really versatile. So if you had a G chord, da 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 C, da 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 G, then D, da 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 ba da ba ba do ba. Okay, so now we're gonna just look at some triads. If I want to play the D shape and make it a G, I can just take a D chord. I mean, eventually you could memorize it, but I can look at a D up a whole step. It's now an E major triad. You know, just no open strings, just the three notes here. So that's an E major triad now. If I move it up a half step, E to F's always a half step, so here's F major triad. Move that up a whole step, it's now a G major triad. So that's a G triad right there instead of this. The C, is up here. And then the D could be up here. But in this intro, they're using the triad from here, which would be the A shape of a D major chord. So D's right there, A root, A shape. Forget that, we're gonna just play the uh, seventh G, seventh B, and fifth high E for the D chord. So, Hopefully you can hear that those sound the same. They're the same chords, different voicings. <clears throat> okay, so instead of the full triad now, I'm just gonna look at the top two strings here of that. So that's the seventh fret high E and eighth fret B, and I'm using middle and index. And so if I can see a G major chord there, Pretty much any time there's a major chord with that, you can move it, uh, you can add a little embellishment harmony to it. It's just gonna be two shapes, either the short one or a long one. So off of this, you have short, long, long, and back down. And then off of the C triad, it's the exact same thing. Back to the G, you can visualize it. And then I'm just gonna play. And then there's that little lick. Or. It's all over the place, but. So I'm playing seventh on the B, eighth on the B, and then um, fifth of the high E. So all together. So let's just take like C to F.
So you can start to experiment. It doesn't always have to be, you know, it could be. loop a G chord and just mess with that for just the one chord. enjoyed that episode of riff theory of course i'd love to hear other riffs you'd like to see me break down uh let me know in the comments below and while you're down there i'd love for you to subscribe also i've got free courses for you at my website martymusic.com when you sign my newsletter check the links thank you again hope to see you later <laughs>